from Franklin. Harry Hall. And Towson meet today in a playoff match on its academic. Thanks for joining us today in this playoff match here on It's Academic. Let's get to our opening round. Our teams start with 100 points. 10 points for each correct answer in this first round. Team 10 points off should you miss. Our category is called What They Hoped For. Everyone has different hopes and dreams. Let's look at some people, real and fictional, and see if you can identify just what they were hoping for. We begin. According to legend, Ponce de Leon hoped to find... Perry Hall. Fountain. Yeah. Fountain of Youth. Fountain of Youth is correct, yes. This British Prime Minister hoped to appease Hitler at Munich. Franklin. Chamberlain. 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 It is Neville Chamberlain, yes indeed. Teams in the National Hockey League hope to win this cup. Perry Hall. Stanley Cup. Stanley Cup. Yes indeed. Next. This fictional captain hoped to avenge himself. Perry Hall. The White Whale. No. no, the correct answer was Captain Ahab. The captain was what was in the clue. Next, although blind, Rachel Sidoris realized her hope of competing in this Alaska sled race. Perry Hall. I did ride. I did ride. I did ride. I did ride, yes. Let's reset that. Next question. In 1916, this U.S. general hoped to capture Franklin. Pershing, Pershing, Pershing. Pershing. It is Pershing, yes indeed. Next, in 1917, this president... Franklin. Wilson, Wilson. Wilson. It is Wilson. Correct. And the last question in this round. This legendary Phrygian king was misguided in hoping for the golden touch. Cap Towson. Midas. It is Midas. That's the end of our opening round. It's academic. The David Zarin. It's academic. Brought to you by Giant Food. Giant. Fresh ideas. Great values. That's Giant's. And by Morgan State University, gateway to opportunity, stairway to excellence. And it's good to have you here on It's Academic. Our teams today are playing for the chance to go to the semifinals. And should they make it to the championship round, they'll be vying for $10,000 in scholarship money provided by Giant Food. Let's meet the first of our teams. Let's go to Franklin. Nice to have you gentlemen back. Looking splendid there in those great ties you have on. Ross, tell us about yourself if you would. Hi, uh, my name is Ross Weiner. I'm a senior at Franklin High School. This is my third time on the show, It's Academic. Outside of It's Academic, I'm also a member of the National Honor Society. Uh, on the rest of the team, before the rest of the team, I would like to thank uh, all the teachers who've done a really good job the last four years at Franklin High School educating us throughout our careers in high school. And I would also like to thank our alternate today, Kachal Joshi, who's really been a great member of the team for many years. Great speech there, Ross. Appreciate it all of it, and I know there's every, everyone you mentioned appreciated it too. Jason, nice to have you back. Hi, uh, my name's Jason Hitch. I'm a senior at Franklin High School. In addition to its academic, I'm also in the National Honor Society and the chess team. And I'd really like to thank Kashal Joshi as well because he has really supported us over the past four years. As well as I'd like to thank Mr. Detzer and the Franklin High School Physics Olympic team for coming out and supporting us today. Wonderful, wonderful. Joshua, the pressure's on you. Let's hear your speech. <laughs> Hi, my name's Joshua Masaryk. Um, I'm a senior at Franklin High School, and in addition to its academic, I'm a member of the National Honor Society Science Club and the Franklin High School Symphonic Band. I'd like to thank our principal, Mr. Terry, our assistant principal, Mr. Flam, and our advisor, Ms. Lodowitz, for all of her time and help that she's given us. You delivered. All right. <laughs> Here are your questions, guys. 20 points, no penalty should you miss. We begin. Look at your monitor. No cattle in. By rearranging the letters in this phrase, you can name what early Congress, where a lot of political horse trading went on during the American Revolution. Continental. Continental? That is correct, yes. Blank is the best provision for old age. To complete this quote from Aristotle, add what synonym for learning that names a modern American cabinet department? Education. Education. That is correct. www.bignumber.edu. This could have been a 19th century website for what Italian scientist who calculated the number of molecules in the mole of any substance? Uh, uh, Avogadro. That is correct. Here's a choice among Greek immigrants, French Protestants, or Dutch peasants. The St. Bartholomew's Day Massacre of 1572 was an attack against the Huguenots. Another name for which of these groups? Number two. That is right, the French Protestants. And lastly, wearing underwear is as formal as I ever hoped to get. This fashion statement comes from what adventurous American author whose novels include A Farewell to Arms and The Old Man in the Sea? Um, is it Hemingway? Yeah. Hemingway. It is Ernest Hemingway. Good round for Franklin. <laughs> And 
And next we go to Perry Hall High School. Nice to have James and Jeff and Nathan back with us. James, tell us about yourself. How many times have you been on our program now? Uh, I think it's six. Yes, indeed. Always <laughs> nice to have you here. Thanks. Um, in addition to its academic, I'm, uh, first of all, I'm a 17-year-old senior at Perry Hall High School. In addition to its academic, I'm the captain of our varsity cross-country team and our varsity track team, as well as the treasurer of our National Honor Society. And I'd like to thank all of our dedicated teammates, especially our extraordinary alternate, Cameron Howard. Extraordinary. I like that adjective. <laughs> Jeff, nice to have you back, too. Also, a many times player here. Yes. Hi, I'm Jeff Crummel, a senior at Perry Hall. Um, outside of school, I pursue interest in sports and structural engineering. And I would like to thank our principal, Mr. Gonzalez, our dedicated advisor, Mr. Geibel, as well as all our uh, ardent supporters at Oakcrest who cherish one today. Wonderful. You're a senior. James is a senior. Nathan, you are a junior, right? Yes, I'm a junior. Another year of eligibility. Uh -huh. Tell us about yourself. Hi, I'm Nathan Suresh. I'm a junior at Perry Hall High School. In addition to its academic, I participate in mock trial student council, Chemathon, and I'm on the varsity tennis team. Today I'd like to thank the audience for coming out and supporting us, and uh, I'd like to thank our outstanding alternate. Wonderful. Gracious young man. All right. Here are your questions, gentlemen. No penalties. 20 points for each correct answer. On your monitor, please. A bunny. Bunnies are cute, but you can rearrange these letters to get the last name of what legendary American lumberjack who had a blue ox named Babe. Bunyan. Yeah. Blank's experience simply could not have happened to a plumber. A plumber might have done better than what indecisive prince, a Shakespeare title character who lives in Elsinore with his mother, Queen Gertrude. Hamlet. That is right. www.mahatma.gov. In the mid-20th century, this could have been a good website for what man who led Gandhi. India to independence was called the Mahatma. Gandhi. Gandhi. That's it. Here's a choice among pea plants, white rats, and hamsters. Gregor Mendel used which of these to do his groundbreaking experiments in heredity? Pea plants. Yes, indeed. And lastly, Three quarks for Muster Mark. This is just one of the puzzling phrases you find in Finnegan's Wake, the last novel by what Irish author who also wrote Ulysses? Joyce. It is James Joyce. Good round for Perry Hall. Yeah. Picks you up to 220 points, Perry Hall. And now we come to Towson. Nice to have another team back with us, Laurel and Aiden and Christopher. Laurel, tell us about yourself. I'm Laurel. I'm a senior at Towson, and um, I'm lit editor of our school's literary arts magazine, nationally award-winning literary arts magazine. And um, I'd just like to thank our friends and family for coming out to support us, particularly my buddies with the You Go Girl sign. It's very wonderful, affirming. wonderful. All right. Tell me, uh, what award did you win? Um, well, for last year's magazine, we haven't finished this year's yet. Um, the Maryland Award, Marylander Award, Maryland Pacemaker, I think, and the Columbia Gold Key Award. Very good. Literary Prestigious. arts awards. Absolutely. Something to be proud of. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Aiden, tell us about yourself, please. I'm Aiden O'Shea. I'm a 17-year-old senior. Uh, in addition to <coughs> that academic, I am in the Young Democrats Club and the Philosophy Club, and I'll be attending Dickinson College next year. And uh, I'd like to thank our principal, Dr. Jane Berenger, for coming out today. Congratulations on your acceptance thank to you. Dickinson, too. Well deserved. And Christopher, you win the award for the most dapper guy here. Love that <laughs> handkerchief, matches the tie. You're looking great. Tell us about yourself. Uh, hello, I'm Christopher Sui. I'm a 17-year-old junior at Towson High School. And I would like to thank Nathan Mendelson, our alternate, for being here today, and Mrs. Brown. Wonderful. All right. Towson, these questions are for you. Look at your monitor, if you would, please. Via dog. You won't need a dog to help you unscramble these letters and name what 11th century English lady who rode Good naked time. through the states of Coventry. Good evening. That's right. Time is a blank, always packing up and moving away. You can complete this observation from author Ben Hecht by adding what type of three-ring entertainment associated with P.T. Barnum and the Ringling Brothers? Circus. That's it. www.cavalryman.gov. <coughs> if the Internet had been available during the Civil War, this might have been a good address for what Confederate cavalry commander known by his first three initials, J.E.B.? Stewart. Stewart. That is right. Is a choice, freedom from arrest, freedom from fear, or freedom of the seas? Which of these choices was one of the four freedoms cited by Franklin Roosevelt in a 1941 message to Congress? Freedom from fear. Correct. And lastly, it is the green-eyed monster. This is the way Shakespeare describes jealousy, in which of his plays in which a jealous Moor strangles his wife Othello. Desdemona. Othello. That is it. And also a good round for Towson. <laughs>
hotly contested match today, and of course, all of our players hope to leave this playoff and go to the semifinals. In addition to trying for that, all of our teams today are taking home Baltimore Orioles home ticket games that will be good throughout the season. And don't forget that every Friday home game will be $5 student night. Show your school ID at the box office and you'll get a ticket for just five bucks. Log on to Orioles.com for more details. And I said the race was tight today. Let's look at the score before we get to our picture perfect round. At this juncture, Franklin has 230, Perry Hall 220, and Towson 210. Almost a dead heat. All right, gentlemen and lady, look at your monitor, please. Our first picture is coming up. 10 points for each correct answer, 10 points off should you miss. Franklin. George Washington. George Washington. No, the correct answer to that first picture was George Cornwallis. Next, at one point, steep gorges line the side of what river, the longest in China? Perry Hall. Yangtze. Yangtze is correct. Since the camels you see here have only one hump. Dromedary. Perry Hall. Dromedary. Dromedary is right. What's the positive value, Franklin? 36. 36? It is 36, yes. All right. Uh, the picture is up there. What do you want to tell me who it rung in that time? No. It, it had the same, it had, it had the, the number last still on picture. Very good art. So we've reset. Here's the question for this picture. Steam and gas are always present over New Zealand. Franklin. New Zealand picking up. Something in New Zealand. Yes, please. North, what do you want north, to tell us? North. north, north. North no, Island. we were looking for the discoverer, James Cook. That's where we were heading. Next, although it depicts a beardless youth, this painting was the work of what 17th century artist whose name was given to a type of trim-pointed beard. Van Dyke. Perry Hall. Van Dyke. Uh, Van Dyke is, yes. Mists are common in this area of Norway that inspired what Norwegian composer noted... Yes, Perry Hall. Grieg. Grieg it is, yes. And lastly, the title of this painting indicates that we are looking through a window at what sea that washes the shores of the French city... Franklin. Mediterranean. Mediterranean. Mediterranean, the French city of Nice. Absolutely. Good round. End of the round for Picture Perfect. Before we get back to our questions, a few introductions. Let's meet the faculty, coaches, and administrators at our three fine schools. There's a kind of symmetry here, three and three at each one of our schools. Let's go first to Franklin, currently with 230 points. Jason, the trio behind you, would you do the introductions? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, to my right is the assistant principal, Mr. Elliot Flam. Directly behind me is our, our advisor for its academic, Ms. Gail Lodowitz. And to my left is our principal at Franklin High School, Mr. Dean Terry. Thank you all for joining us today. Nice to have you here. And to Perry Hall, currently in the lead with 260 points. Jeff, would you introduce the three people behind you? Yes. To my right is our distinguished principal, Mr. Gonzalez. Directly behind me is our stellar alternate, Cameron Howard. And to my left is our team's incomparable coach, Mr. Geibel. Wow. Stellar, distinguished, incomparable. I like those adjectives. Thank you all for being here. And with 210 points at Towson, Aiden, you've got three people with you as well, not to be outdone. Who Certainly are they? Not. Uh, this is Mr. Kurt Alford, our advisor. Directly behind me is Dr. Jane Berenger. Uh, and uh, to my left is Mrs. Brown, our English department chair. Thank yeah, you all for Mr. being with us today. <laughs> nice to have you here. In our next round of questions, should our teams get all eight questions right, right, we award them 25 bonus points and we'll light up their lights as we're doing there in front of Jeff at Perry Hall. And Jeff, you know the routine. You get to choose one of these three packets of questions for the gentleman at Franklin. One, two, or three. Let's give them three. Let's give them three, he says. All right. All right, uh, Jason, Ross, and Joshua, these are for you. You should remind your parents that it's almost time to pay what type of tax that the IRS demands on uh, April 15th? Income. Federal income tax. Federal income tax? That is correct, yes. Since 1066, almost all English monarchs have held their coronations in what historic London Abbey? Westminster. 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 That is it. Though we know little about the origins of Stonehenge, few people still believe the old legend that it was built by what magician in King Arthur's court? Merlin. It is Merlin, yes. Look at your monitor, please. Magnesium, copper, or iron. Which of these elements will, when burned, produce an exceptionally brilliant white flame and white ash? Number one. Number one, magnesium, yes. 
When Muslims make their pilgrimage to Mecca, they are journeying to what country whose capital is Riyadh? Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. Yes, sir. And lastly, the Paris Tourist Bureau was probably not too happy in 1841 when Edgar Allan Poe published his story about murders committed by an orangutan in what Paris street? Yes, please. Bourbon. Bourbon. Bourbon? Bourbon. No, the murders of the Rue Morgue. Rue Morgue. Look at your monitor, please. Assuming A is positive, evaluate this expression for me. Nine, A to the third. Nine, A to the third. Nine, A to the third. Yes, sir. And lastly, a forgotten poem, The Memory of the Heart, was written by what same New England senator who gave a memorable speech supporting the Compromise of 1850? Webster. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Webster? It is Webster. A good round for Franklin. Almost. Seven out of eight. On to Perry Hall, James, Jeff, and Nathan. You answer one of these two packets of questions chosen by Aiden. Aiden, would you do the honors and pick one or two? Number one. Number one. Okay, gentlemen, these are for you. The first American to manufacture muskets with interchangeable parts was what same man who had earlier invented the cotton gin? Whitney. Yes. Some congressman protested the $275,000 appropriation that allowed Captain John Erickson to build what Navy ironclad ship that sank the Merrimack? Monitor. Monitor. Monitor is correct, yes. Although Chopin's name sounds French, he was born in what Eastern European country whose capital city is Warsaw? Poland. Yes, sir. On your monitor, please. Endoderm, xylem, or pyrrole. Which of these terms identifies the plant tissue that conducts minerals and water upwards from the roots? I think it's endoderm. Sorry. Endoderm? No, the xylem was the correct answer. Next, what famous street in New Orleans shares its name with the French dynasty dynasty to which Louis XIV belonged, as well as a type of whiskey. Bourbon. Bourbon is right, yes. One literary character who would never call an exterminator is Gregor Samsa, who is turned into a giant insect in what story by Kafka? Metamorphosis. Yeah. Metamorphosis. Correct. On your monitor, please evaluate this expression, giving your answer as a positive yeah. integer. Yeah. Yeah. Ten. It is ten. And lastly, the seven cities of Cibola turned out to be a myth. Much to the dismay of what Spanish conquistador who led an expedition to explore the American Southwest in 1540? Coronado. It is Coronado. A good round for Perry Hall. <laughs> it takes you to 400 points. 400. All right. We have yet to give away the bonus points. Maybe it'll happen with Towson. One packet of questions left. Packet <laughs> two. Laurel, Aiden, and Christopher, these are yours. We start. You won't find the Spanish steps in Madrid but as one of the tourist attractions in what capital city of Italy? Rome. Rome is right, yes. From port to shining port is one way to describe a journey from Portland, Maine, to another Portland, the largest city in what west coast state? Oregon. Oregon. Yes. The International Working Men's Association was founded in 1864 by Karl <laughs> Marx, who had earlier written what manifesto with his friend Engels? The Communist Manifesto. <laughs> That's right. On your monitor, please. Malachite, quartz, or ferrite. When you sift sand through your hands, that sand is made up mainly of tiny colorless crystals of which of these? I think it's quartz. Quartz. Quartz is right. Most international documents are signed on land, but the Japanese surrender after World War II was signed on what ship named for President Truman's home state? Missouri. That's right. Kurt Vonnegut once wrote that the only book a person needs is what Dostoevsky novel about the four sons of a man named Theodore? The Brothers Karamazov. That is correct, yes. On your monitor, please. Evaluate this expression, giving your answer as a positive integer. 117. 19. Yes, please. Yeah. 117. No, 105 was the correct answer. And lastly, born Mustafa Kemal, what man received a new name as the founder and first president of modern Turkey? Ataturk. Ataturk it is. And that's the end of the round for Towson. <laughs> Our game continues to be extremely tight. We headed to the grab bag where any team can win. 20 point questions, 20 points off if you miss. The visuals are 30 up and down. Score at this point, Franklin, 370. Perry Hall, 400. Towson, 350. All right, teams, good luck. We begin. 
The U.S. Olympic Committee has its headquarters in what same state, Franklin? New York. Colorado, also where the U.S. Air Force Academy is. Next, filmmaker Peter Miller has recently finished a historical documentary about Nicola Sacco and what fellow immigrant Perry Hall. Vanzetti. Vanzetti, yes. H.A. Ray and his wife Margaret drew a lot of yellow hats in their books about what playful... Thousand. George. Curious George. That is right, yes. Here's a 30-point question. Look at your monitor. This painting was completed about 1880 by a member of what Native American tribe to which Sacagawea belonged? Franklin. Go with that. So, so, so. The name of the tribe so. is... No, the Shoshone was the correct answer. Next, towering more than 13,000 feet above sea level, King's Peak reigns as the highest mountain in what western state? Franklin. Washington. No, Utah, also where Zion is. 100 is 40% of what number? Perry Hall. Yes, please. 140. Uh, no, 250, 250. Next, Yankee outfielder Bobby Abrea is just one. Franklin. Yes, please. Outfielder. MVP. We were headed toward Hugo, uh, Hugo uh, Chavez, Venezuela. Venezuela is where he's from. Next, on your monitor, on clean shirt days, he paid visits. This is a line from James Boswell's biography of what, 18th century? Perry Hall. Samuel Johnson. That is correct, yes. A plan to build a 77-story skyscraper on the banks of Nieva River has led to protests in what second largest Russian city? Franklin. St. Petersburg. St. Petersburg. That is correct, yes. Here's a choice. Nitrogen, whose atomic number is 7, is likely to have properties similar to the element whose atomic number is 15. Franklin. Oxygen. Oxygen. Argon. Oxygen. Uh, oxygen. No, 15. 15 was that we were looking for the number. Next, what same item does Joe sell in Little Women to help her father and Della... Yes, Towson. Her hair. That's correct, yes. Here's a 30-point question. Over 3,000 years ago, this Egyptian temple is located at what? L. Franklin. Alexandria. Yeah. Alexandria. No, L initial. Luxor. Next, Joe Hill is the pen name of a new novelist, the son of what best-selling author of such horror novels as Cujo? And Terry Hall. King. King, yes. Next, people can now use the Internet to vote in parliamentary elections in what European country? Yes, Franklin. Yeah, uh, yeah. Britain. Britain. No, Estonia, where the capital is Tallinn. Next, after World War I, Germany's Kaiser Wilhelm went into exile in what neighboring country long ruled by the House of Orange? Franklin. Uh, Netherlands. Netherlands is correct. The buzzer says our game is over. We will be right back. today lots of changes in the scores in that final round we're proud of all of our nine competitors congratulations all of you to making it to the playoffs our final tally today first we congratulate with 250 points franklin high school ross and jason joshua nice job nice job next with 390 points another stellar performance from towson high school laurel and aiden and christopher nicely done and with 450 points, they're headed to the semifinals, folks. Perry Hall High School, James and Jeff and Nathan. Well done, gentlemen. We welcome you to join us next week. We'll have another playoff match featuring Delaney, Lockraven, and Linganore right here on It's Academic. I'm Dave Zarin. Thanks for joining us. Audience, come on down. <laughs>